This fuel is a hydrocarbon and consists only of carbon and hydrogen. And we see that this gives out a lot of light as well. Very nice. Actually, all of these have something in common. This one is clearly burning a gas. It's the gas burning with the oxygen from the air. But these two are also gases. Okay? So the olive oil, first of all, has to vaporize and turn into gas before it can uh, burn. Even the candle here, first of all, it liquefies, and there's some molten candle wax on the top, and then that has to vaporize to form a gas, and that gas is the thing that's burning. Well, can we burn just any old gas, then? Actually, no, we can't. Here we have some hydrogen. Hydrogen burns very easily, so this is hydrogen and oxygen burning. It's a very, very hot flame, and we'll come back to this later. But there's very little light coming out from this. So there's a lot of energy being given out, but it's mainly in the form of heat energy, not very much light. So how come our gases that are burning in the centre of the stage there give out quite so much light? Well, one of the important things we need in the gas is the carbon. And what we're actually seeing here are little particles of carbon, soot, that have been heated up, and so they're glowing, and it's that glowing that we see here. So the fuel needs to contain some carbon in order for us to see this. And I can show this, actually, with a piece of white card here. So if I just hold this over my Roman lamp, I should be able to trace out. So that's the soot given out from this lamp, the black soot there. And this is carbon that's formed due to the incomplete combustion of the fuel with the oxygen. But it's these particles of carbon that give out all the light that we see.